What's going on, Red Eye Channing Tatum here. Um, check out Magic Mike, June 29th. You've said that a lot of guys are always interested in hearing about the stripping days, talking mm -hmm. about you know how'd you get into it, how much money yep. uh, did you make. What's the aspect that seems to interest them the most, or, or what's the memorable question you've heard about? Uh, were you naked? Uh, you butt naked? What did like? How many girls did you take home? Like, did that? Like that's they just want to know. Every, it's like the whole encompassing thing. Like they. It's something that I think that they never even really thought of, like sort of, of, of a thing. Like you know, they always just think of female stripping. And why do you think it's so fascinating for guys? I don't know. It's kind of like why is it fascinating for girls, for you know, the male, the female stripping. They might judge it, but there's a there's an interesting like thing that happens on Halloween where girls always sort of are like the sexiest version, like the like the slutty version of a ketchup bottle. <laughs> Uh, you know, they can be whatever it is, but they're the sexy version or the slutty version of it. I haven't seen a lot of people asking you about the story. And when I and when I no. tell I told my wife <laughs> and my colleagues that I really like the movie and they all laugh. How much how much do you feel like people are expecting a two hour strip show out of this? Um you know, I think probably a lot, you know, but I it's it's really funny. Once you see you know, Soderbergh and I we had a really hard time like trying to figure out how do we do it because every single every single dance ends the same way. You dance a little bit, you dance for a girl a little bit, you take your clothes off and you get naked. It, it, all, it, all, it all ends the exact same way. So once you see it once, you, if you, what are you going to do? See it exactly again? Like it just gets redundant. So you can't show it all. Like you can't show the whole dance. You can't, you, and once you've seen it once, all right, how do you keep making it interesting and, and, right. and whatnot? So it's, you know, it, it, it's not probably what people were thinking. You know, even though there is, you know, obviously stripping in the movie. You know, you and, talked about that if you actually put all the stories that really happened to you in the movie, because this is, you know, almost all fiction. Yeah. Um, people wouldn't believe it. What's what's something that did happen to you that you think if it was in the movie, people would just go, like, yeah, right. Uh, we we rode up to a um, to a stripper convention, which those are actually for real. That that actually happens in the back of a U-Haul van, um, like. It, like with no windows doors we're all just like with sleeping bags in the back like, <laughs> like, it's ridiculous you have eight meatheads and like and you know crazy people in the back of like a, of a moving truck uh, driving up to South Carolina what happens in a stripper convention uh, a whole lot of stripping for like it's about 50 strippers and maybe more than that even um, like 60 or 70 strippers and then about 2,000 women and you strip from like 9 until about like 3 in the morning not long panel discussions about the no sociology. No, there's no no sociology talks. The very little talking, if any at all. Uh, <laughs> yeah, and it's a marathon. That's a crazy marathon. We, if if we make a number two of Magic Mike, we'll do the prequel and we'll make it the convention. I don't we'll, think you're gonna be able to do a sequel. You keep talking about this is the end. You're not talking about it anymore. I'm definitely not talking about it anymore. Uh, that's all everybody wants to talk about. They don't don't want to talk about anything else. So on the press tour for the sequel, you'll just sit there like this. Yeah, it's really. Like, I'm gonna let, uh, let the other guys do the heavy lifting. I'm just gonna be like, no. I'll be like, let's talk politics. <laughs> so. Why do you think you've talked about that stripping for guys is sort of almost inherently comic? Why yeah. Why is it funny for guys to be doing this? Because it's you. There's no other way to do it other than the cheesy way. Like, <laughs> because when a guy tries to be sexy, it's so corny that it's ridiculous. And I think that women don't even really go for, like for the the sexual turn on, like that's not why they go. Like, yeah, there's no red light special in this. Yeah, like you know, it's it's more of they go to like laugh and to like enjoy themselves. They go for really entertainment, and the, the entertainment is not so much even on stage, but it's it's the the girl next, like their best friend next to them, when their face gets red when a guy gets on top of her, like you know, like that's the embarrassment of that is the entertainment, and that's why it's I think just innately different. Like you know, men go for a completely different reason. You know, we would go for like a visual sort of carnal thing, and uh, you know, and I, and I don't think women do that. Obviously, people are talking about the fact that uh, there's no full frontal nudity in this movie. Mm. You know, there was so, all the stuff about shame and Michael Fassbender last year, with the possibility, you know, that he may have lost out on an Oscar nomination because of all the hubbub about that. Too. It's almost as if male nudity happens so rarely on screen that people can't even handle it. Was that taken into consideration at all with with this? Yeah, I mean, we didn't want to have a bunch of penises flopping around like that it wasn't that I don't think that was you know on our uh, on our bucket list for this movie but uh, it, it you know I, I just I just think it's distracting whenever you really see stuff like that you know because then it's like sex scenes in a way like I or nudity like full nudity scenes like you 
you know, all of a sudden, and for me personally, when I'm watching a movie and I see like an actress like butt naked or something, like I'm just like, oh my god, I forget about the character, and I'm like, there's there's Angelina Jolie and she's beautiful and she's naked in front of me, and like I think it completely takes you out of unless it's like really done well and you know and that's hard to do, and unless like it really has something to do with the story, just to have an arbitrary sex scene to show like love. Like it, it doesn't. I don't think that shows love. I think that if the movie's about passion or lust or sex, like then do it and do it. You know, Shame was a good example of a reason to do it. Like you know, go for it if you're gonna go for it and go all the way. Right. But just don't have it in there just to have it in there. And we didn't want to just have it in there just because it's a stripper movie. We want to do it in a in a funny way. You know, in a, in, a, in an entertaining way. You know, just we didn't want to have just a bunch of you know dude penis around just because like. People are expecting it. When you were actually uh, involved in, in stripping, how much were costumes a part of that? And did you have any favorites or least favorites? Um, yeah, my favorite was a. Uh, I, I did um, I did an usher routine, and I and I sort of. I don't know if you've ever seen the My Way um, video, mm -hmm. music video where he kind of has a clockwork orange thing with like a bowler and like a trench coat and like he dances and stuff. That was probably my favorite, but least favorite was a. Uh, the 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 owner made me do a. Uh, a clown routine one night, like I, I literally like to uh, to 99 book red balloons or whatever. Such a weird act. I was like, this sucks, dude. Let's not do this. I was like, and he's like, no, no, it kills, bro. Trust me. You're wearing like a red nose and big yeah, floppy literally. shoes. Literally, yeah, like a like a clown outfit. And I'm how, like, how do I'm you like, take that off in a seductive way? You can't. It was <laughs> it opened to crickets. Like there was no one cheering. Like and generally, you you can't screw it up. Like, you can walk out on stage, fall down, and, like, it break your leg and people will still cheer. Like, that's just what it is. It got nothing. I was just like, well, not doing that again. <laughs>